Now for these questions, we're adding three digit numbers. But in each question, one of the numbers is a multiple of a hundred. So that's a number that ends in two zeros, or has zeros in the tens and ones place values. First, we have 526 plus 400. So here, because we're adding hundreds and not adding any tens or ones, we can highlight our hundreds digits and we can see that we have five hundreds and we're adding four hundreds. So in our answer, we have nine hundreds. And then the tens and ones digit of our first number stay the same because we're not adding any tens or ones. So we get 926. Now we have 406 plus 400. Again, if we highlight our hundreds digits, four plus four is eight, but then the zero in our tens and six in our ones will stay the same because we're not adding any tens or ones. We're only adding four hundreds. So now we have 500 plus 319. Now this time, the multiple of 100 is written first. But remember, with addition, order doesn't matter. So we can do the same thing. We can highlight our hundreds digits and we can see that we have five plus three. So in our answer, we have eight hundreds. But this time, it's the one and nine so the tens and ones digit of our second number that stay the same, because we don't have any tens in our first number. So if we add one ten, that's one ten in our answer, and we don't have any ones in our first number. So if we add nine ones, then we have nine ones in our answer. Now, 700 plus 122. Now highlighting the hundreds digits, seven plus one is eight. So that's eight hundreds in our answer. And then the 22 stays the same because we don't have any tens or ones in our first number. So we get 822. Now let's take a closer look at these questions. First, we started with 526. So that's five hundreds, two tens, and six ones. Adding 400 means we can add four hundreds blocks, and now you can see that we have nine hundreds blocks altogether, but we still have our two tens and our six ones, so those digits are the same as in the number that we started with. Then we had 406, so that's four hundreds, no tens, and six ones, and if we add four hundreds, we now have eight hundreds altogether, but we still have no tens, and we still have six ones. Then we started with our multiple of a hundred, so started with five hundred. We were adding three hundred and nineteen, so that's adding three hundreds, one ten, and nine ones. You can see that altogether we now have eight hundreds, but because there weren't any tens or ones in the number that we started with, the tens and ones that we added appear exactly as they are in our answer. So one ten and nine ones because we didn't start with any tens or ones. Then we had 700 plus 122. So that's adding 100, two tens and two ones. Again, you can see that we have eight hundreds altogether, and we still have the two tens and two ones that we added in our answer because we didn't start with any tens or ones. We could also show the addition using place value counters. So for this first question, we just add four hundreds counters to leave us with nine as our hundreds digit, and the tens and ones have stayed the same. Then from 406, adding 400 just means adding 400 counters. And that means that we have 800 counters now, but we still don't have any tens counters and we still have six ones counters. 
that's because we were only adding hundreds. Then we started with 500 and added 319. So we can add 300s, 110 and 9 ones to give us 819. So 800s, 110 and 9 ones as our answer. Notice we get the same answer even if we were to start with 319. So start with 300s, 110 and 9 ones and then add 500s. If we add 1, 2, 3, 4, 500s, you can see that what we get is exactly the same. We still get 800s, 110 and 9 ones. So that's what we mean when we say that with addition, order doesn't matter. We get the same answer no matter what order we add the numbers in. And then we had 700 plus 122. So we were adding 100, 2 tens and 2 ones. So that gave us 822 as our answer. But again, we can see that we would have got the same answer if we'd started with 122 and then added 700. Because if we add seven hundreds counters, you can see that what we end up with is exactly the same. That's eight hundreds counters, two tens counters, and two ones.